Hello, I'm Ethan Block, and this is a Floatown instructional video on how to seek out relevant followers on Twitter. Now, the misconception on Twitter that a lot of people are still caught up with is how many followers do I have? And they try to flaunt their numbers. It's like a it's like a high school popularity contest. But what more and more people are now realizing, and this is for the best, is that it doesn't matter how many people follow you. It matters who follows you. And when you have a business Twitter account, this is even more important. Because you don't want random people following you. You want people that are interested in what it is you do to be following you. So when you post a tweet about some relevant content related to your industry, you know you're posting it to people who care. And when you post other tweets, again, you're posting it to people who care about what you do. And what's great is there's a, a couple tools, two specifically, that can really help you uh, efficiently find people, relevant people on Twitter to follow and to interact with, and I'm going to show you how to do that today. So the two main tools are search.twitter.com and then Google Reader. Now, uh, if you have a Google account, you can log in, right, uh, log right into Google Reader, excuse me. If you don't have a Google account, then you would go ahead and set one up. I'm going to assume you do have one. So I'm going to go ahead and log in with the Google account we're going to use for this demo. And then we'll get started. So I log into Google Reader, and this is a brand new Google Reader account. I don't have any feeds or anything like that. And if you're not completely familiar with what a uh, Google Reader is or what an RSS reader is anyway, I'll post some links in this video in the blog post and in the YouTube video in the sidebar to give you a little bit more information. But basically, it's just a central location that you can bring in various feeds all throughout the internet and actually read that content in one place. That's kind of what the reader does for you. So let's go over to Twitter search now and let's say I'm in the ceramics business. I own a ceramics shop or I sell ceramics on the internet, whatever that may be. So I really want to find people that are interested in ceramics. And what's awesome with uh, search.twitter or Twitter search is this is going to give me, oh, didn't spell that right, ceramics, I think I spelled that right. This is instantly going to show me who's talking about ceramics right now, as you can see, right now. So we'll go ahead and hit search. It's pretty quick. Bam. Less than a minute, minute ago. Oh, this is someone responding back. You know, it's cool when you can make blah blah blah. So, and you would look through all these different tweets and and kind of see, you know, chilling in the ceramics. Yeah, I don't know about that, but uh, just use a car. Lost ceramics artist. So that could be interesting. That could be someone to follow. Again, you look through here. Manufacturer. Ceramics paints rubber manufacturer. The thing is to have to come back to search Twitter every single day or every hour and run this search is really inefficient and what's cool is you can actually subscribe to this feed so up here on the top right you see feed for this query so you go ahead and click on that and it's gonna pull into Google Reader and it's gonna say you're not subscribed to this feed okay I wanna subscribe and now it's gonna show me uh, the feed from search.twitter of people again that are using the keyword ceramics in their search and it's cool they're actually still bolding it even in the Google uh, in even in Google Reader which is awesome and I could go through here you know all day long I probably oh it only gives me 10 it looks like that I wasn't aware of but uh, if you leave this running now that you have it set up it's gonna be pulling this stuff in uh, from now into the future so let's say you have a few different uh, queries you want to search on you could do the search.twitter run the search and then subscribe to them in this RSS reader and then you would have them all in here and then you can even create a folder so if there's certain types of ceramics and you want to separate them in folders and you know what I mean and you could come back here hourly daily and see what people are saying about ceramics in a really efficient way and now if I see here oh this is cool uh, Chinese ceramics at British Museum Gallery so I'm gonna click on this it's gonna open it up in Twitter I'm gonna see the actual tweet and then who said it so at that point I just click on their name and I go boom follow really powerful way to find relevant people to follow on Twitter I hope you found that useful. If you have any questions, please feel free to send them at answers at flowtown.com or hit them up in the comments. Whatever is easiest. I wish everyone a great uh, weekend, being that this is the weekend, and I really advise you to learn how to use these tools because this stuff is really powerful. And again, it's not the uh, size of the follower count. It's the relevancy of who's following you. I'm Ethan Block. This has been a Flowtown instructional screencast. Keep kicking ass.